I want some tasty fried chicken. What's going on, friends? Logan Myers here for Cinefellas.com, returning for another horror movie review in 31 Days of Horror. Tonight, I'm talking about Rob Zombie's first horror film from 2003, my senior year of high school. We're talking about House of a Thousand Corpses. Woo! So the film takes place. Uh, two couples are traveling the back roads. They're in Texas. They're looking for all these sideshow attractions and off-road attractions. The two couples come across this sideshow attraction, Captain Spaulding's Museum of Monsters and Mad Men. We are introduced to the famous Captain Spaulding himself, Sid Haig, and what a great performance in this movie. Uh, God, he's hilarious, he's psychotic, he's eerie. He plays all these parts perfectly. You know, they go into this uh, place, this museum, and uh, they learn about the, the local folklore, urban legends of Dr. Satan, and they're interested, what is Dr. Satan? Captain Spaulding draws up a map uh, and gives it to this group of people so they can go find where Dr. Satan is. And what they encounter is far worse than Dr. Satan. We're introduced to the Firefly family. You may know them as the Fireflies from the second film, Rob Zombie did Devil's Rejects, but in this film we're introduced to Otis, Baby, Tiny, the whole group, they're all sadistic, they're cannibals, they're psychotic. You know, these characters would be great for an ABC sitcom. And there's some great sequences when they actually come across the Fireflies, you know, with Otis with his long stringy blonde hair, he basically, or Bill Mosley that plays Otis, he looks like uh, Chop Top from Texas Chainsaw 2, it's the same character, just a little different. Uh, but he knocks his performance out of the ballpark, you know. He is excellent as a, a psycho. Bill Mosley does it right, and um, one of his better performances, in my opinion. And you know, Rob Zombie has to have his wife, Sherry Moon Zombie, in all his movies, and show her off naked and all that good stuff. But her performance as Baby in this movie is pretty good, too. She's got that eerie laugh. <laughs> and it's just like, ooh. A little creepy. I forgot to talk about the group of people. Uh, it's Bill and Jerry and their girlfriends. Uh, Jerry's played by a young Chris Hardwick, you know, from Talking Dead, that monstrous hit on AMC, The Walking Dead. And we got Rain Wilson, Dwight from The Office, a young Dwight, um, you know, and they were both really great in this, this movie. They're both convincing as these sci-fi nerds that are, you know, trying to capture all these sideshow attractions as they embark on this long road trip. But, you know, when they come across the Firefly clan, you know, Things don't always end well. And it, as they go throughout this house and talk to these people, they're like, let's get the fuck out of here. These people are going to kill us. And, you know, they get trapped and they can't leave. So they're coming across everything that's hidden in this house and underneath the house. And Bill Mosley is like the, the carving artist in this movie of cutting off flesh from people's bodies and wearing it like a mask. So you can really see in this film that uh, Rob Zombie wanted to pay homage to, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Ed Gein, and you know, The Hills Have Eyes. You know, and then finally encountering some satanic rituals out in the field in these underground tunnels to where Dr. Satan lies. And you know what? He's still alive. And when you see this underground tunnel or this this under, underground realm for all these like monsters, you, you finally see Dr. Satan, he's like, has all these cords on him, he's performing surgery, and he's just like fucking scary looking. He has like a, a mask on his face. Um, but you know, Dr. Satan's really eerie looking. You know, all this time they were trying to find what this urban legend is, this folklore, you know, based around Dr. Satan, and finally coming across him and seeing where he lives is fucking eerie. Overall, I love House of a Thousand Corpses. It's still my favorite Rob Zombie movie ever. I wish Zombie would go back to his glory days and make a, a film like House of a Thousand or Devil's Rejects, bring the Firefly clan back together somehow, and do what you know and do what you do best. The camera work in this movie is excellent and there's one particular scene with the camera work, they're like up above the cop and it's like 30 seconds of just dead silence and the gun goes off and it's awesome. Like you didn't know what was going to happen, you're just sitting there waiting. And all great performances by the cast across the board, Bill Mosley, Sid Haig, Sherry Moon Zombie, Chris Hardwick, Rain Wilson. I'm going to give Rob Zombie's House of a Thousand Corpses a four and a half out of five hair pieces. <laughs> this is Logan Myers signing out from a house of a thousand corpses. Woo! Until next time. Cheese! <laughs>